Um, soldiers, um, you have a defense mechanism. It's to reflect rockets. Uh, that will basically give you like one. You even get a mini crit when you when you reflect a rocket. They they really could not have handed you a kill any easier than that. Because um, mini crits will do like full damage from any range. Well, kind of. You don't get to fall off anymore. Are you fucking? Are you for real? It's gonna spawn camp us. Hey, good stuff. I think we're getting rolled, but for some reason, the cart's not being pushed. I, I don't really understand why. Maybe this, maybe this team just sucks. And that demo knight just. <laughs> oh, TF2, you crazy. Uh. So, yeah, soldiers. You know, any competent soldier is going to wipe the floor with you because they're going to mess up your timing with the rockets. Because the best tip, uh, if you're trying to face a. a, a a pyro is, you know, it's since it's like nearly impossible to to be consistent with it. Uh, it's really easy just to kind of fucking you don't have to even worry about it. It's oh, he's dead. Um, it's really difficult to be consistent with it, so all you have to do is fuck up their timing. It's that's all you have to do. It's really simple shit. And if you want to ambush, this is where you do it. Where you don't set anyone on fire. And do your little puff and sting shit. Because that's really professional. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. So, you know, I'm, I'm not fighting the... Oh, the, it's the, the soldier that killed me. <laughs> that's pyro versus pyro. It's basically two people with flamethrowers at, at each other. Uh, I pretty much showed that off right there. But yeah, so finishing off on soldier, yeah. You know they have their shotgun and their and their rocket launcher if they have stock loadout, so you know they, they're gonna they're gonna kill you. Um, if, if they if you they you killed them, it's you either got lucky or uh, or you're uh, two hundred percent skilled. Let's just go with that. Damn it! I'm trying to be mouse one you. Ha ha ha! I, he dominated me and I dumb, re got revenge on him at the same time. Uh, so pyros, yeah, you want to bring along your shotgun if there's too many pyros on the other team. That's what you want to be doing. Um, that's, you know, it's ultimately up to you. It's kind of a cool weapon. I don't know what that was. He's got, he's got, he's got a boulder and a bunch of other shit. Okay, let's, let's come out swinging. Maybe I'll hit something. Ah, uh, this guy, that guy's really good at demo. Do bad he sucks at dealing with spies. I mean, he he hit me with two grenades. I was pretty skilled. I have to even say for him. He's he's gonna do my demo LP by the way. Uh, against heavies, uh, a spun up heavy will chew up anything, and the heavies are the most strong. They're the strongest closer in class. They have the health pool to deal to deal with, you know, being hit a couple times. Um, you know, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do much. Oh, what? That was a cr man, he had a crit on the ground. Fuck that. Now I'm angry. Uh, so when it comes to so heavies, yeah, the only way you can deal with them is you either have. Oh, uh, look at that guy. You got, you got all of his little mini crits. So I guess the phlogistonator is, is is the best weapon ever. I was completely wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Don't use it. And he's already dead. Uh. So heavies, the best way you can deal with them is you you wait for them to be either spun up or something else. Um, he's probably dead ringing. Hopefully there's gonna be no one there. No, okay, no, there's a scout right there. That's okay. I was gonna see if I can get the health back, but that's fine. There's another pyro on my team. Uh, engineers, uh, obviously you can't do much about the sentries, but they're not really your, your counter. Uh, mostly because a, a, a scout is completely helpless against a sentry, while you can kind of burn right through it if you get an uber. That's why it's not your counter. And also if you if you get a good positioning on it, or you can corner it, you can out DPS the, the healing. Um, that, that, that I even got lucky. 
So, you know, it's that's why it's not a counter. If if the flamethrower didn't help DPS it, it wouldn't be a counter. Damn it, the sentry killed me. Uh I don't know what else. Um Medics Medics, I guess, counter your afterburns. So I guess that's your that's your true counter. No. Medics are just kinda whatever. Everything counters afterburn, so. It's not really worth what bleed damage is better than afterburn. It's, it's worth afterburn is kind of worthless to rely on. It's not reliable. That was actually you know I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Uh, and snipers, snipers obviously can outrange you once again. You have the flare gun to help against them if you so choose to, you desire to. Uh, so you do have options when dealing with them. Like, I'm trying to range this heavy right now. I thought that was- I thought he had my name. Um, so, you know... And- and spies are something you counter, because you can find them in your little flamethrower thingy, Bob. So, good job. I think, I, I think that's basically it for classes. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about actually the history of Pyros, because that's actually kind of interesting. Because I've been actually playing this game since the beginning, and I'll tell you... I'll tell you some, some shit about the Pyros maybe you never knew. I don't know when you came into TF2. But, um... Basically, they didn't have unlocks in a long time ago. And, ha and no hats. No, no, it's basically the stock lot. It's anything you started with, like that, that shitty fire axe you saw. Uh, that's kind of what you had. Oh, well, I tried. I tried to be a good Pyro. So, unfortunately... Apparently, I'm a maniac. Got him. Oh, can't help that much against that. Oh, he was so gotten critted, and he's dead now. I'm just gonna. See, this is what I mean about corning the sentries. You can do it. And I just, I, I just killed a sentry gun. Uh, I don't think it was a very hard one, but even with my shitty one, I could do it. So yeah, so um, way back when, when TF2 just came out, no unlocks. Um, the power actually didn't have air, air blast when the game first came out. Um, he, had not, he just had the flamethrower. He, he was supposed to be an ambush class, and the whole idea was you're supposed to use uh, basically the afterburn. Oh, we're not going to lose this, are we? I'm gonna do the one thing I've got, I was born for. Keeping people off things. Um, so yeah, a long time ago, he you were supposed to use the afterburn. So basically what you do is you'd set someone on fire, and then you'd use the shotgun because that was the only secondary you had, and you'd just run away pelting them with the shotgun. And uh, how effective was that? It was that, Well, it wasn't all that effective, obviously, because it was actually probably one of the worst classes. Uh, and it's the other fact is um, the hit detection on the flamethrower was actually pretty pretty goddamn awful. So uh, if you were chasing after people with the flamethrower, it was actually really funny because uh, uh, you could visually see yourself in the flame, but you wouldn't actually get hit based upon the latency of the server. Um, and that's basically how that's basically how it went down. Um, it, it just, it was, it was a terrible class. That's all it was. Um, and basically, you know, people, people who played it uh, were basically the elite. They were very good at basically shotgunning and ambushing because you'd have to do it without the tools. And so they would play it because it was a challenge. That's, that's essentially what it was. Um, I was, I was still a big sniper whore back in the day. I'm still a big sniper whore. Actually, I think since I've gotten back into TF2, I play more scout these days because I really like that skill of team. But anyways, um... So that's kind of how the pyro used to be, and he had the fire axe. It wasn't very helpful, uh, obviously, because all the melees were the same in this game, uh, so they weren't very helpful. But so then they had the pyro update, and so what they did was they buffed the range of the flamethrower. Uh, so the range actually, this is why you sometimes get set on fire when you're really far away, because the server has a different idea of what it tries to compensate to what the player sees. I'm guessing or something. The particles are also much different for the flamethrower as well. Uh, basically, they made a whole bunch of changes to make basically the fire hit and chasing with the flamethrower viable. Um, 
And they, and so in the same update, they basically said this. You have the regular flamethrower. We've added an air blast mechanic, which will allow you to reflect projectiles. And you, you also have the back burner. The back burner was the first unlock for the pyro. And then you have the flare gun. Uh, and the back burner, what it did back then was it gave back crits, but it also gave plus 50 HP. So basically had uh, 225 HP uh, pyros running around. Uh, that's more than a soldier, uh, by the way. And that was to apparently help them ambush. And you also have the flare gun. Uh, the flare gun actually did more damage at long range. It was reworked later to have the crits and stuff. Flare gun wasn't bad. Uh, it, you know, it made my life hell as a sniper. But the, the flamethrower was actually horrible changes. Because you first had the pyros, which were next to useless. Now everybody was playing them because basically... Uh, well, choose your buff. Do you want do you want the ability to reflect projectiles, which almost nobody chose, by the way, when the game came, when the update came out, or do you want plus fifty HP? Well, everyone chose the plus fifty HP. Obviously, it's fucking awesome. Plus fifty HP. Um, so I, I can't really do much here because the sniper dot is now there. So everyone chose the plus fifty HP. You know, let's take the scorch shot. Why not? Um, and we'll bring the, I don't know, fucking regular flamethrower, sure. And uh, we'll bring along power jack. Let's do that. Is there a new loadout? Um, and all, another really dumb idea of what they did was there was no fall off damage added. There was no, f there was no damage, uh, uh, there was no fall off added for uh, the flamethrower. Ha! Got the sentry gun with that. That's what I meant to do. I wanted to, I, I didn't have any other option to kill it. Um, they, they removed fall off, and that was the dumbest possible idea they could have ever fucking had. Because basically what you had was, um, W mouse 1 was born, basically. And, uh, I never quite got over that. Let me just say that. No. But, uh, <laughs> anyways. So they, they added all that crap, and, uh, um, and there, there was no fall off, and what that meant was basically the, the distance of which the damage for the pyro... It was basically the same all around. I need to get heals. It, uh, so like, you know, you would do maximum DPS to somebody, uh, no matter what, uh, no matter what range. So if you're on the very edge of their flame, uh, you'd be doing full DPS to them. Uh, and that was, that, was, that was a lot of it, DPS, that can could, that could even kill heavies. And so that's that's basically why W Mouse One was born. That's why that's why they got such a bad rep, especially from assholes like me. I'm gonna save my medic. Oh, looks like we're getting spammed in there. I'm gonna try and go the alternate way because flanking is what I should what a good pyro does. And I don't really know what this kid is doing. He killed himself. Okay. I, you know, he he completely got the drop on me, but he was punished for it. That was actually something else they did. I'll tell you that. That's actually really funny. Uh, all these changes, actually, these notable changes, they have done absolutely nothing but buff the pyro since the update, and people still complain about how he's uh, gimped. But, you know, I still remember how he was when the update, before the updates. And I think he's really fucking powerful, but he's just too easy to use. He doesn't have any real kind of like high skill mechanics to basically master. He's got like basically the the, the air blast, but it's very situational. You, you need basically a, a soldier around to feed you ammo. Come on, fire at me. Hey, see? Oh, that didn't kill him. Oh, he's, he's dead now. I'm gonna go get health. But, uh, yeah, so they added all this, this crap in and, uh... Dude, there's a sentry right here. Sentry's not really your counter. Fan scouts at the very most can piss you off, but scouts completely counter your ass anyways. So yeah, they added all that, and then, then they realized how dumb they were and they they uh, put it back, put back the fall off damage back in. Oh god, I'm so dead. 
You put the fall off but damage back in. It wasn't nearly as much as it was before because they were working off numbers, not really in game stuff, but you know, that's what they did. And so that was that. And then since then, they've added flare gun buffs, uh, more types of flare guns. Uh, they added air blast to the back burner after they removed the plus 50. The plus 50 HP actually lasted for quite a while. Uh, if you look at the history of that, it lasted for a while. Oh, am I gonna get an afterburn kill? Unfortunately not, it would appear. Because he got a crit off of me. He got two crits, actually. What a bitch. See, all, all my skills of pyro, it's, it's just for nothing. Uh, yeah, so they had that shit. Um, oh, poor guy. Looking bad for him now. You get the health. I feel like I should really be using the detonator. Oh, that's our guys. Hey team, welcome to the party. Uh, you know, and actually, like I think Air Blast used to take up 50 ammo, but they, no, no, it used to take 25 and then they made it take 20. You know, that's what I mean, just li buff by buff, because every time the Pyros were like, um, you just add Jurati to the game, Valve. What the fuck do you think you're doing? I'm gonna stair stab this guy. Where the fuck are you? I'm, I'm looking for, a, I'm looking for a spy. Okay, well, I'm bored with that now. Uh, so yeah, they added a whole bunch of buffs to him um, over and over again. This actually gets kind of annoying. So, because you know, every time I play the game, he seems to have like ten more buffs. And you, you know, the sniper hasn't received any buffs. The scout hasn't received any buffs. Basically, because those are classes that can be played really well by competent players. Kind of a maniac. Oh, I killed. I got I got a red and reflect with that. Three kill streak, really. All right. You know, I I really wish I had something other than the scorch shot. It's really not that useful. I mean, one when I I have I have another air uh. Backblast mechanic or whatever, it's basically. Oh, goodbye, crits. Oh, there we go. He got his crits, anyways. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else th they, they had with the pyro. Um, the flare got. The, obviously, the afterburn got nerfed, like, majorly, because the. Like, the, the med kits always uh, got rid of it, but. Uh, everyone has Jurati and some mechanic now to, to get rid of it. But, you know, oh! One of the things I actually failed to mention is you can, you can kind of double jump. If you, if you really feel inclined to. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a skill row. And I'm just wasting my, my health, so let's get health back. Uh, I don't know, I think I was going on a tangent with something else, but, um... You know, no matter what they add, it's just it's just not enough. Because, you know, I, I don't... I, I honestly think what the class needs is nothing short of a rework. Like, it just needs an absolute rework, because, you know... We have to discourage... You gotta discourage shit like that. Like, just running in there and just suicide pyron, because, you know... Like, I probably would get a kill or two if I actually pulled that off correctly, which I did not. Um, and, you know, and if you're playing, like, conservative pyro, where you're basically just trying to airblast everything... Uh, then, you know, I honestly think there's a ton of other better classes to be playing. Let's get the hell out of there. Whoops. Oh, and the spy got me. Oh god, my counter, I'm embarrassed. I don't know. Um, I can tell you, I can tell you what it would take to make me play the class. On a more opt more, more common basis, um, he can't be short range. Uh, and I, he needs options to basically fight at long range. The flare gun doesn't cut it because um, it's just kind of you're spamming it basically. He didn't really need a spam mechanic. He would, and it's I know it's kind of odd, but flamethrowers do have longer range. But you'd have to basically make it a lot better than just that. And I just saved my team from a, from an Uber. 
And but that's okay, I got critted anyways. Random crits. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my official loadout, which is uh Vintage Flare Gun, Degreaser, and Power Jack. Sure, let's do that. I don't know, I just find this one to be the best. Um I think you have to make it more difficult to play, and but allow for more skill, which actually none of my suggestions really solve. Fuck, why am I not able to get him? Where is he? I think he went down there. You know, if you want to go back there, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to do anything back there. Seems that my, uh, my, my afterburner or whatever has more range than, uh, Kill this dispenser. It was almost killed our team. Never fear, team. I killed it. Alright, we're gonna. Oh god, no. Actually, maybe we can get that. Okay, wait, he's distracting it. There you go. Thank you, sniper. Just won the game for us. And that's it, we win. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, leave your comments, because I know you've already done that. Bye!